It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics yeah, on V103. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time for the 411 on your favorite folks, better known as the Trending Topics. This one's a little messy. Bear with me. Let's go. So, the bond of marriage is supposed to last a lifetime, but that wasn't the case for WNBA stars Brittany Griner and Glory Johnson. The newlyweds uh, made it less than a month before Brittany Griner filed for an annulment. They just got married! The baller says she was pressured into marriage under duress by Johnson's threatening statements and that she was left out of the loop in regards to her pregnancy. This is just messy. The couple tied the knot in the beginning of May, weeks after a domestic violence incident at their home. No word as to whether Griner would hope to still parent Johnson's unborn child, though she's denied any biological connection to the baby. This is just crazy. I just don't even... Okay, they're both females, in case you're moving slow. They both play for the WNBA. They got married. One's pregnant. We don't know how and why and who's the daddy, or if there is a daddy. But they're filing for an annulment. So, it gets a little messier. Glory Johnson's says she didn't know that this was going to happen. Her uh, sports marketing agent said Glory was unaware of the filing but still loves and cares for Britney. Griner issued a statement saying last Wednesday, Glory and I e- agreed to legally separate to get divorced and annul our marriage. In the week prior to the wedding, I attempted to postpone the wedding several times as- until I completed counseling, but still went through with it. Now I realize it was a mistake. Glory says uh, she still is going to raise the child. She sat out a year from the WNBA to have the child. This is crazy. Stay tuned. It's going to get a lot, a lot crazy, I promise you. Let's stay on crazy. Amber Rose stopped by to chop it up with a radio station to talk about everything under the sun. Wiz Khalifa, uh, her new boo, Machine Gun Kelly. She said, quote, we're just getting to know each other. He's a really nice guy. He treats me really, really nice, and I have a blast with him. On Wiz, she said, we still love each other even though we're not together. We're still family no matter what. On whether or not she's going to get the Wiz Khalifa tattoo removed, she said, if I'm going to get eventually get married and get to someone else and if they feel some type of way about it, then I will. I'm not in a rush. I think if we didn't have Sebastian, it'd be different. Last but not least, chopped it up about her brand new book, How to Be a Bad B. You know what the B stands for, right? And unveil the Not Safe for Work cover to the upcoming memoir. Nice. The book's cover features a bronzed rose in a barely there swimsuit, standing on some rocks, aiming a golden bow and arrow towards the sky. Beneath her feet lays the body of a nude man, also bronzed, with several arrows stuck in his body. They shooting. Made you look. It was shot by legendary celebrity photographer Dave LaChapelle. Simon & Schuster won't publish the book until October 27th, but it's available for pre-order now. And last but not least, speaking of Showing off just a little bit. Loving Hip Hop cast member Carly Red apparently has been offered $25,000 from Vivid Entertainment to shoot two sex scenes <laughs> in a grown up movie, an X rated flick. And she could make a lot more if the tape sells well. Vivid has put out some releases featuring Kim Kardashian, Farrah Abraham, and, uh, of course, Mimi and Nico. Whether or not Carly Red chooses to grace the television and or DVD screen with her nakedness and sexuality remains to be seen. But I'll let you know. Hopefully, I'll get to review it before you do. <laughs> That's going to do it for the trending topics. Mr. Eddie Parr, head on over to V-103.com. You can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can also see my for real Carly Red face. Yes, we'll be back with more big tickets next on V103.